in the morning I came across this news which is uh, quite new for all of us and we don't know how true it is. So ChatGPT is probably getting its paid plan also. They are bringing up with a new paid plan which is supposed to be $42 per month. Now this is something very subjective for people from uh, various profession. For few of them it's not a big deal. This should be priced that much because it does a lot of work for us. At the same time for people who are let's say students or someone who is uh, doesn't want to invest so much time or use chat GPT so much for them it's a lot or people who are uh, using the free plan until now has been been super happy with it still for few of them at least for me it is a bit expensive okay so these are the few uh, latest news with chat gpt and i just uh, i also checked double checked it the hacker news is already up there that this is something or news leak or whatever it is it's already there that uh, that, that professional plan will be out there and i was very curious to know about people's opinion so that's why i just thought of making this uh, short video or ask about your opinion what do you guys think about your personal opinion i know it's it, it's very subjective for everyone it doesn't matter if you want to have it professional plan or not everyone has their own needs so it's totally fine with me for me it's a bit expensive that's why i'm just wondering what people think and what's the alternative which we have now once we don't have chat gpt at its full capabilities full potential right so Actually, you know, I, I also opened, uh, let's say, a poll out here, you know, already uh, five hours back. And you can see, do people want to go for paid plan or free plan? So, yes, yeah, so that's something which I was wondering. Now, speaking of that, uh, I thought that what about the alternatives which came across for this past two months? You know, a lot of startups have started using this uh, open AI's api which are available probably you guys have came across my videos also where i talk about open ai's apis use them and make or build a new web app so that's something which is also there for uh, which open ai offers us so that's something which i also wanted to discuss here so let's say we don't have chat gpt in a scenario and what if we use this uh, models which which open ai gives us and if we build app on top of it will this be sustainable enough for the long journey or it's better to pay this 42 dollars and just be satisfied with that because somewhere this language model this uh, the task which it performs let's say you're writing a content ai based content or writing your tweet uh, summarizing something this few things chat gpt is amazing okay it, it did a lot of work for me also when i have my code i just feed it to it and i ask it to comment the code it did very well i'm super happy with it i'm i just also urge you guys to use it as long as the free plan is there and you know you can uh, you are in that hour where you can use it well so use it uh, so let's see the pricing here and this is also kind of a uh, beginner video where we just go across how to use open ai's and we'll get to know about the pricing which it offers at this moment so that we can think of an alternative out here brainstorm an alternative and maybe this is not a bright platform but let's see how the pricing looks like at this moment so if you see the language model which you normally use this other is one of the firstest one okay this gives 0.004 dollars per 1000 tokens this model is not so bad it's pretty powerful okay we have i mean at least i have used it and in few of my videos if i am not wrong oh probably i have used the da vinci most because it's the latest one the takes of in go3 has been super powerful okay so i think i've used this most of the time which is 0.02 per 1k tokens so let's say you are want to get the title of your blog post you're writing a content you want to get the title out of it i think uh, for let's say you have a token of 20 uh, uh, 20 tokens out there i think we can invest few of this amount out there and uh, generate those and if not that this query model is there already for us which is comparatively less expensive than da vinci then we have this babbage and other which is the fastest one as i'm saying so this does our work very well apis exist and there are a lot of apps which are built on top of it on top of this where you are summarizing a uh, summarizing about a chatbot all these things are built on the basis of takes da vinci which which we are just discussing here the codex by open ai which is uh, doing an amazing job for that also so we have this ai facilities at a cheaper cost and these apis 
are there at a cheaper cost why not use it and build an app on the top of it so this was something which i felt can be reasonable at this moment if it is getting priced to 42 dollars uh, this can be useful we can leverage the power of this api so let's say we use python mostly and uh, you can just write within few lines of code right so this is something which i was thinking about let's talk about the other things which came up during this last two uh, months period when this huge chat gpt boom came up right so i just uh, found this over uh, twitter okay this uh, this was very well uh, this was by Elvis Saravia. It's, I, I follow him over Twitter, if I'm not wrong. And uh, this was his thread, if I if I remember correctly. And uh, he actually made a uh, like kind of a list of AI product index, okay, so that we can easily find it. And that's why uh, this is super helpful. I will write down in the description also. And in this period, lot of things came up in the art and creativity, in the conversational AIs, you know, chat GPT is there itself. These are all the AI powered. So uh, I cannot go through each and every one of them, but how about if you guys are interested, look onto them. If this is something which will be reasonable enough for you, I'm pretty sure most of them are priced. Uh, they are not open source as such. So uh, they have a certain plans. If they are cheap, cheaper for you, use that. And uh, that's something alternative for us. And this is very nice collection of all of this. The Ghostwriter, GitHub Copilot, as I was speaking about it. All these are priced. But if that serves your purpose, why not use it? Uh, for the gaming, for the sales and marketing, this copy, AI, the Jasper. Jasper is very popular, okay, in this case, the AI content writer. I think it is also priced pretty high. So if we see these things are already out there, uh, at some point, you can have a rebuttal that, okay, then in that perspective, ChatGPT is uh, a reasonable price. For sure it is. You can just go through them and see which is the best alternative for you if you're looking for actually. Otherwise, I always say, why not build something top of the open AI's API key? Even if you're not a programmer, uh, it's very few lines of code, just learning the Python code. And that's something maybe super useful of the coding part i was thinking just to give a quick introduction of how can we use openai's api using python okay though so that's the the major theme on my channel and i don't i don't want to deviate from them because i'm pretty sure if you guys are here you guys may may perhaps have came across my videos so for that let me just give you a quick introduction and i will just end up this thing uh, so let's say we go to the pricing place then we go to apis and we need to log in, okay? That's something which you need to do. Uh, for login, just use your uh, Google account for it. So I just press continue with Google. So you can see out here, they're saying chat GPT API is also coming soon. So I don't know how much it will be priced, but that's something is already there. Otherwise, you just go here in this personal, you go to view API keys, you can create your new secret key. It's as simple as that. Let's say, how are we gonna use that? That's very important. So I just press create new secret key and I just copy the key. That's all I need to do. So it's very easy to use it, right? So if you just go back to, let's say open AI and you go from here, you just go to APIs and you are there. So that's how you when you log in and you will be back to this page, okay? Once it's copied, you need your favorite terminal, your ID. ID, I'm just opening, opening the VS code. We have done this, this chatbot we have developed ourselves, okay, in one of the tutorial. You can just go back, check it. All you do is, let's say you are building uh, on top of a Streamlit, which is a Python framework for people who are new. Uh, it's very easy to use that, by the way. And all you do is you create this particular folder, dot Streamlit. That's very important to create. The dot Streamlit folder needs to be there inside that. So let me just open this. Uh, in the finder it will be easier to explain in that way so here if you see this is a dot streamlit folder inside the dot streamlit folder i have the secrets.toml so this in case of streamlit this is something very crucial in case of team streamlit you need to have this particular file inside your uh, dot streamlit folder so if i now go inside this folder here i just paste my api key so i just give a variable name api secret and i paste it there that's all we need to do okay so once we have this we can write our python script very easily let's say we just need to make a simple assistant ai or something so this is a very traditional way of generating response basically you just use the completion dot create 
uh, class out here and then you just give this arguments you use the engine takes the Vinci so if I if you remember before if, if I just go back here and I go back to the pricing part the takes the Vinci it's 0.02 dollars per 1k token you can use the QD or any of them okay so if you want to use those again you have to go here you have to I think if I'm not wrong if you go to documentation you have to go to models GPT-3 you see all these are there any of this model whatever model you like use them based on them the pricings are designated so let's say other has the cheapest pricing here engine you have to put that particular uh, model name and then you are ready to go so this is few lines of code few arguments which you have discussed a lot if still it's not clear for you anytime you just go to the medium blog post of mine in this blog post if you come here i have explained how to use this thing or what are these arguments about the arguments which you see out here what are these arguments about so this is in this blog post very well explained and i would say that it's not that difficult okay it's something which can be used very easily and leverage the power of uh, openas api and then just few more lines for writing the uh, writing the app so if just if i just run it you will see how easy it is streamlit uh, let's say run assistant ai if you run this assistant ai thing so that's the only file we need okay if i run this app this is assistant ai i don't know if this is, will work or not because we have a different secret key or the secret key doesn't exist so let me just quickly change the secret key here so as you see the secret key which i copied there i'm just pasting it now I press the always rerun. Uh, tell me about open AI. And now I just submit it here. I'm expecting it will give me some reply based on my prompt, which I gave here. It's very easy to use. Okay. So look, I mean, this is something out here. We have the result of it. This kind of search, you can automate it, build your own chatbot. And it is costing very less i mean for all of these tokens it's not that much and the pricing you can also see the yeah, keys usage you will see out here the pricing comes up so this is my other account until 18 dollars it's free of cost if you create an account you get the 18 dollars so if you see and un until now for all my demo uh, videos i have used this i have hardly spent more than 1.5 dollars so it's that useful so it's not that much of text okay so uh i'm pretty sure this can be one of the sustainable alternative which a lot of people can choose and if you like it uh, it's not a bad option you can just build your own app on top of this api keys so yeah that's something which i really wanted to discuss and what do you guys think about it i mean i'm really curious to know because it's something it will change a lot after this pricing and all these things are coming up because there are a lot of controversies Although I believe in the good side of the AIs, but there are a lot of things coming up now with us, the schools banning it. And there are people who are against this and not so much uh, happy about how powerful or what will be the misuse of AIs. So uh, to, to my opinion, I love this advancement of technologies. I love to use it. I'll be happy if there's a chat GPT's API coming up. I would love to pay for this. Maybe not $40 at this time for chat GPT, but I will be happy to pay for the API because I can make apps on the top of it and that will be super useful for me. Let's come back to this main post or or we can also go to this hacker news post where it says that it is getting charged to personal to professional plan which is almost $42. So let me know what you guys think about it because if it's $40 how is how you guys going to think about it or what if what will be the demand of apps which is built on the top of this open as APIs uh, as you saw a lot of startups have already started on the basis of open AIs, apis or other ais which is coming up so what's your what's your comment on this write down in the comment section below i would love to have a discussion on it i'll be really looking forward to hear from you all cheers